solve this equation. All right, if we can get this, and we have really only have three terms on this when it looks like this. So if we can get common denominators, then we get to ignore all the denominators. And the three right now has a denominator of one. Let's make that small. There we go. So our common denominator should be four. So if I multiply the one and the three by four, I get a common denominator four. And I'll multiply the two by two, and I have to multiply this entire expression by two as well. So now I've got two x plus five over four. And then we're gonna add this to four times three is 12 over four. This equals six eh, x plus one times two over four. So we have our common denominators, which is what we wanted. And now what we get to do, and this is the funnest part, I think, of all this, because everyone seems to love it, is that we get to rewrite this entire expression, but without the denominators. So, you don't have to multiply so yeah, once we get common denominators, just clear them out. And now we have an expression that looks like it's much easier to solve. So I can distribute my 2, which gives me a 12x plus 2, equals the rest of that stuff. And then, I need more space. I, I'm going to put the x's on the right side so they stay positive. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. But I'll also subtract 2 from both sides, so minus 2 there. So these cancel out and these cancel. And I've got a 10x equals 5 plus 12 minus 2, I get 15. And to solve this one, finally, all we need to do is divide both sides by 10. And we get x is equal to 3 halves.